All right, uh, let's look at the Bezout's identity. Uh, here's a statement. There exist integers x and y such that the greatest common divisor of a and b can be written as ax plus by, which is a linear combination of a and b. Right. So before we prove this, I'm going to borrow a couple of results. Uh, first one is a well-ordered principle, uh, which basically says that uh, if you have a non-empty subset of natural numbers, you can always find the minimum element. Right. The second one is the uh, division algorithm. If you divide integer a by a natural number d, you can always uh, express a as uh, divisor times quotient q plus remainder r. And the r is always greater than or equal to 0 and strictly less than d. Right? So uh, let's start the proof with uh, this. Uh, using um, a well-ordered principle, uh, we can say the following. Right? So uh, let's look at this set right here. Right? So this is a positive linear combinations of uh, A and B. Right? So uh, we know that the, this is uh, non-empty because you can set S to be A and the T to be B. So you have a A squared plus B squared. Uh, since uh, one of uh, A and B at least a non-zero, so A squared plus B squared is going to be at least one. So we know that the, this is non-empty. All right, so by well-ordered principle, uh, there's going to be a minimum element. So we're going to call that minimum element uh, ax plus by. So there exist integers x and y such that uh, ax plus by is that minimum element. And once you've done that, all you have to do is uh, you just have to show that the ax plus by is the greatest common divisor of a and b. All right. So next step is... I'm going to do um, to try to establish the uh, inequality first. All right. So we know that the greatest common divisor of a and b divides a and b at the same time. So it's going to clearly divide ax because it has a in it and the by because it has b in it. So which means that the greatest common divisor of a and b will divide uh, ax plus by. All right which means that uh, uh, AX plus BY is going to be at least greatest common divisor of uh, A and B, right? So well, one side is pretty simple, All right? Next one, what we're going to do is I'm going to show that uh, linear combination AX plus BY actually divides A and B at the same time, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the division algorithm to divide A by ax plus by, right? So by division algorithm, a can be written as, right, here is the divisor times quotient q plus remainder r, right? Then r is going to be greater than or equal to 0 and is strictly less than the divisor ax plus by, right? If you solve this uh, equation for r, you will see, uh, you get this. Right, so we know that r is greater than or equal to 0. Right, so if you solve this equation for r, basically put uh, these terms over to the other side, you're going to get the a times uh, 1 minus x cubed plus b times negative y cubed. Right? This is a linear combination, a combination of a and b, which is strictly smaller than ax plus by. Right? But remember, we know that the ax plus by is supposed to be the smallest possible positive linear combination in a and b. Right? So this expression right, right here cannot be positive, right? because otherwise you, you found a smaller one, but the, this is the smallest one. So we know that the only possible way would be this r has to be equal to 0. So r is 0. Once you know that the r is 0, uh, r is the remainder. Uh, if the remainder is 0, we know that uh, a divisor, uh, ax plus by, will divide a. Right? We can basically do exactly the same argument, just replacing a by b. We can show that uh, ax plus by will divide b. Right? So therefore, uh, ax plus by is actually a common divisor of a and b. 
So therefore, common divisor is smaller than or equal to the greatest common divisor, right? By combining uh, this inequality here, greatest common divisor of A and B is less than or equal to AX plus BY. And here, this is the greatest common divisor of AX, BY is greater than or equal to AX plus BY. If you combine those guys together, the only possibility is they must be the same, right? So we have greatest common divisor of A and B is exactly equal to AX plus BY, right? So therefore, there exists integers X and Y such that uh, greatest common divisor of A and B can be written as AX plus BY, right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.